Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. So normally when I'm running a rendering program, I usually close out all my other programs, Photoshop, email, Microsoft Word, and the rest, just because rendering usually demands a lot of computing horsepower, more than my machine can sometimes deliver. So I want my CPU to be dedicated to only that program and nothing else. But what if I can render on someone else's machine? preferably a much more powerful one than mine, and do it through a browser window. Well, that's precisely what I'm going to do today, using a program called FBox Picture Shooter from Macavision. I don't really need to download or install anything. All I need is a secure password and a login. Once I get in there, I get access to this rendering interface called Picture Shooter. It's got pretty much everything you'd expect from a full-featured rendering program, only in a setup that's much simpler. I can position my object, in this case it happens to be this sports car, with these XYZ axis arrows. Or I can also rotate it with this control arrow. You can certainly move your object through the slider bar to position it along the XYZ axis too, the traditional way you might be used to doing it, but I just like to grab it and move it from the arrows. The same applies to the camera positioning too. I can simply move my camera around with my mouse to get a different angle. There's a ray trace preview on and off option, so if I'd like my preview window to be ray traced with a lot greater details and colors, I just turn it on. I can also go into the full screen mode if I want to, and in that case, sometimes I even forget that I'm rendering through a browser window. There are some scenes and backplates that come with the program, but you can also search for more that you like, or load your own into the program. Once the scene is set, you can still move your object around, and updates are very quick, just a few seconds to recalculate. Then the image resolution gets better progressively as you leave it alone. Once you're done, say you're happy with what you see in the program window, you can go ahead and order the picture in the resolution and the format that you like. Your image will be rendered on someone else's machine, on the company server, in fact, then delivered to you via email. This vision, let's call it cloud-hosted rendering, is something many cat companies are looking into, including Autodesk and NVIDIA. Because the heavy-duty number crunching is taking place elsewhere, and I'm doing mostly just providing input, I can in fact render from a portable lightweight device like a notebook, a netbook, or an iPad, and from a cafe with a Wi-Fi connection if needed. This changes how we think of what we used to do, heavy-duty, computing-intensive applications. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, rendering from a cloud near you.